Right, time for a completely new project for us. So something we've never done before, um, clues in the name, I suppose we're Transport HQ, but we've realized that we need to start looking at the new Shape Crafter. A lot of the stuff we do kind of lends itself that way. And if you're anything like me, I've got loads of kids now and I can't fit all my lot in a camper, well, in a T5, T6 camper. Uh, so we're starting to look for the bigger stuff. And now as the new Crafter is so, Good looking and so nice to drive we've got one of these as our delivery truck and um, it's brilliant it's really genuinely so nice to drive you aren't aware of the size of it more and more people are looking at these to go the routes turn them into a full camper so we already do a few bits for these we already do windows we sell a lot of windows through the camp glass name to the conversion market for crafters and a few other bits but um, we decided we needed to get one in to start developing and growing the catalog of what we do for them so we already have uh, headlights that are on their way actually headlights that our T5, T6 headlights are really popular so that was the first port call. New headlights for those, they should be here in the next month or so I think, or the sample ones anyway. Uh, and from there we also have inside the building there we've got a full set of lift and lower in suspension for one. So we've already been working with Bill Stein uh, to create uh, a lower in suspension for the crafter uh, and a lift one. So we just need to get them on a vehicle and get them tried out. I think we'll probably go the lowered route with this one, not too low because it still needs to be usable. but. That's what this is all for, it's all about development. So I made a bit of a balls up with this one. So this is chrome yellow um, because we like chrome yellow. We've had a chrome yellow flatbed before, before the colour change and my last TSI, uh, that was a chrome yellow. But I kind of ticked the wrong box and this one's huge. See, I accidentally ordered the Maxi. Look at the size of that thing. It's a giant DHL van, isn't it? Uh, not a massive problem really, we, we need to do everything, so testing the suspension on the largest platform possible um, is good. Windows are the same, whether it's the Maxi or a long wheelbase, the Maxi is just that extra section just there. So it'll be a good tool for us to work out what can go in there. So first port call with this one, so this is going to be turned into a full camper. So previously we don't do conversions here but we know how to do them, so we're going to use this one to uh, build into a camper and use that then to work out weights and stuff and start developing along the way. Uh, suspension other little things that we we decide to uh, develop for these as they come along so we already have set up crafter hqs nothing on there at the minute but that um, that will start to grow as our range grows so first port of call is uh, get this thing over to dan chambers so if any of you already are crafter owners or follow the crafter thing um Dan Chambers kind of started his YouTube channel there with his Dan and Abby channel, uh, building the crafter that he lives in, long wheelbase white crafter that we supplied windows for and did a few of the bits with him. So Dan's going to be helping us along the way with this one, helping us with the build. The other good thing about Dan is he has access to a weigh bridge. So I'm going to go and take this over to Dan now and get it weighed so we know what the starting weight is, so we can work out what we can get inside there before we reach the 3.5 ton limit. So anyway, a little bit about this one. Brand new, 70 plate, extra long wheelbase or maxi as they call it, crafter. This is the 177 automatic version. A few little extras, the extra sensors along the side uh, for the um, blind spot. Heated seats, heated steering wheel. A few little bits like that, automatic. And as you can see there, so 74 miles on it. So first of all, because of this particular spec, yeah, it had to come with a bulkhead. So we've removed the bulkhead and we've ordered the extra plastics to fill in the gap. So as you can see in the back there, I started to plot a few things out, but just a completely empty panel van. Upload some videos as we change some things along the way. But first of all, yeah, I'll head over to Dan's and let's get on the Weybridge. Right, so here we are on the Weybridge. This is Dan. Hi. Any of you crafter people already know Dan because he's got the most famous YouTube channel. For kind craft of a big business. deal. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> two huge, man's greedy, he's not got one YouTube channel, he's got two. But one's based all around crafters that he did with Abby, his wife, and then and he's got his caddy he's doing now, and the golf, and you have two Many, many, too many things. Too many things. Too many things. And as if he's not got too much to do already, he's offered to help us build this thing. So, Dan is fortunate enough to have access to a way bridge, as you can see it's sitting on there. So if we just go inside and show you what we're at. So it weighs currently that, 2,440 kilos, which gives us... One, one, 1060 kilos to play with, is that right? Yeah, yeah. 1060 kilos to play with till we get to the 3.5 ton limit. This is going to be a challenge, isn't it? So, there you go. Thanks for lending the bridge, Dan. No worries. We'll see you again soon. So, just back from Dan. So, next thing for this 
beast is to go off the CMC Rymo. So uh, first job is to get the bed in. So on this particular one, we're going for a, a Rymo Variotech bed on a sliding rail system. Gone for the slightly narrower three-seater to allow for room um, and also to slide it forward and backwards so there's more access to get in and out the sliding door. Um, so yeah, keep watching. I'll put links to Dan's channel below. So you'll see a lot of this, probably a lot more of it on Dan's channel than you will on ours. But um, yeah, follow Dan. I'll put both of his links below to his uh, Dan and Abby channel, which is the crafter related one and then also his channel for all the other stuff he does as always thanks for watching if you're at all interested in the crafter or you know anybody else that's interested in them please uh, like and subscribe and share the video as always ring the little bell for updates um, plenty of other transport content coming if this thing's not your bag but um, might be worth watching anyway and following the journey as always thanks for watching if all else fails we'll brand it DHL <laughs>